What's up everyone, I'm Galilipolo back with some more League things and today we are doing some more Escape from Elo Hell. If you don't know what the series is, it's where I play through a low Elo account and just grind to gold just to show you guys that you can one trick Kindred and get to gold. The reason we set the goal to gold is specifically because 90% of people only play to get the like Victoria skin at the end of the season and you only need to be gold to get the Victoria skin. I decided that for the rest of the week I'm going to grind this out and finish up this series. The main reason I'm finishing up this series is because I don't want to have five different series like A to Z, this, and a main account grind all going at once. So I decided we'll finish this one up then we'll probably start our main account grind and go back to A to Z and stuff. But for the time being we're just going to finish this quickly. I'm trying to talk a little bit slower because I've had the issue where I've been talking too fast lately and people are having a hard time understanding what I'm saying sometimes. So I'm trying to talk a little bit slower and I'm working on that so sorry to anybody who has a hard time understanding what I say when I talk too fast. I, uh, I'm working on it I promise. I'm trying to work on it for you guys. now. I'm going to just head to the Scuttle Crab mainly because it looks like he's doing the red to blue or the red to Krugs on his side of the map. So I might as well just come over here and just vertical jungle a little bit if I can and be happy with that. I'm not going to be able to get that mark just judging because like because of how fast he clears it's unfeasible to run across the map and try to get that mark. Uh oh Botlane could potentially get first blooded here. No, don't hold on. Oh, Nami, you should have let me get it. Oh, well, that's sad. Luckily, though, we did. We were able to get the uh, first blood on our team. And yep, there's he. He just definitely got that mark, and he's running over to the side of the map. Uh, right there you are, buddy. We're just going to put that there just in case, you know, the scuttle goes away soon. Actually, I'm pretty sure the scuttle's outlasting that. Yep, there's he right there. Hopefully, the Nami doesn't manage to die to the Yi knowing that he's there. She really needs to back. He went, instead of vertical jungling, it looks like he just went to scuttle and then ran towards the bottom side of the map. Or he may have taken my blue in the amount of time that I went to gank the lane. So if he went for the blue, then rip my blue, but I don't think he had blue when I just saw him. I'm pretty sure he only had red. So because he doesn't have a blue, I don't really have to worry too much about that. Botlane did a good job though, they weren't able to get two kills down there. Would have loved to get that kill myself that I flashed for, but regardless, regardless, it's still better that our team got something rather than nothing. Something is always better than nothing, that's, I mean, how League always is. If you can make something happen, do it. Now, jungling against the Yi also, he's got Conqueror on right now. You can't ever really 1v1 the Yi because his alpha just makes him too much of an annoyance to try to 1v1. So when you're playing against him, you just mainly have to play around your lanes and try to avoid like 1v1s in the jungle. 1v1s in the jungle almost always in, like will result in you dying and getting nothing done other than just feeding pretty much. And that minion block though. <laughs> I evened up the health scores a little bit though, so th I'm okay with that. I don't believe that there are anything much will happen here. I'm going to come in ward for the Fiora because she's a very juicy target right now. She's pushed up very far and there, the E could jump on her. I want to go for like the repeat gank here, but it looks like she's just going to force in the wave and then back. So I'm going to come over here and just go farm. She actually may stay in lane though. Looks like she is staying in lane. Hopefully she doesn't die, but I can't just camp that forever. I'm still level 3. He's definitely level 4 at this point. Where that camp. I won't get that mark uh, down bot lane unless I were to sprint I'll head on right there right now. And without flash, I don't want to get caught out in the river because my lanes don't have priority right now. And it's not worth the suicide for the mark really. If you know if you know there's a high chance that it's just not gonna happen. Like, there's no point in me running over there. Their bot lane and their mid lane would rotate to me first without flash, and then you could also just jump on me. So Instead, we're just going to take what we have for now, just back, go by, get a pink ward and stuff in the scanner, and just be okay with that. The only true death is to never live. It is an Infernal Drake early on, and ye can solo dragons very fast, so we do need to keep actual vision on the Drake, because if we don't, then we're giving up the 8% extra damage or whatever, 8, 10, whatever it is. I think it's like 8, I don't remember, and we don't want that to happen. Giving up any damage to a team that could instantly one-shot us late game is a very, 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 very bad decision. Just make sure he's not doing that. 
He wants help mid. I will try my best to come help mid. Yeah, I can't catch her. That's the thing. <laughs> he is still level 4 as well. He is going to clear the ward. Is he going to attack the Drake though? We have to, like I said, keep vision here, because if we don't keep vision here, then he gets it for free. If the Mal's were to press R on Annie, yeah, we could probably kill her. It's just really up to him to press R. I can't do anything unless you press R. That, that's the thing, buddy. No match for us. Don't, don't chase too far. That's the best we could do is I can't actually catch her, so for the time being, I just, I have to try to poke her. Now I'm going to full clear the side of my jungle because I need to catch up in level right now. Me and Yi, we're both farming rather slowly right now, and we're just kind of having a little bit of a vision war over Drake for the time being. Uh, I'm just going to farm it for the rest of the time, though. Um, hopefully they're not at the Drake. I don't have a ward. Oh, yep, they did get the Drake. Unfortunately, nobody had a ward, I guess, for it. I couldn't really go contest it though either way, because if I run in there I do die. That's unfortunate though, we knew that you could do it early on and we just didn't have any more vision for it. I should have bought a second pink ward when I left the base rather than leaving with only one. I'm, I'm gonna accept blame for that because I could have just replaced the ward. I didn't do it and it shows. I th uh, I'm gonna try to gank the bot lane, specifically because Sona's the squishiest champ in the game, really, so if I can try to gank her or get anything done, it'd be pretty good. Oh, we're not gonna kill her, rip. Nami, CC. Nami, you have no CC, do you? Uh, rip. I was hoping she would be level 6. We did get the double flash heal and stuff, just not anything that we could have actually made use of, though. So, rip. That does give them a little bit of lane priority for a little bit. That's good. Oh, they had they both had flash and ignite. I wish we would have ignited her then. That sucks. Grab two pink wards this time, then we're gonna head back over to our topside jungle. Odds are our topside jungle is invaded and we lost the Gromp for sure. We may actually lose the blue as well. But we know the scuttle's gone, and I do need to get the first mark at some point. It's just really, really hard right now, because I'm never on the right side of the map for the scuttles. Okay, yeah. Like I said, our top side was invaded, and we knew that. Alright, well, Mouse didn't want to come over there, which kind of sucked, but either way, it works. I knew I did lose the top side like that, but the E was dumb. The E was dumb. He was doing it without a ward, and my scanner just revealed that he was there the whole time, so it was free. Alright, kill the Rumble. Nice. We walk away with two kills from that. I'm going to put a pink ward down in the pixel bush here because I know that you will come for this mark. I don't have anything on the side of the camp to farm and I'm a little sketched to invade. I'm going to try for an invade, but either way, I want to be around this scuttle when it spawns. So this is the best I can do for now. I just need to not take too much damage. I need to make sure I kite properly. And their Annie is MIA, so I'm going to back away. I'm not going to full clear the camp here. Without Annie there, I don't want to die. Hopefully we can get this mark though, I do need the first one, it's been too long, and for 10 minutes in, having no marks, it's just not gonna be good if I don't get it. Okay, we can get the Blood Razor, we're gonna go back, and then we'll work on getting Warrior as well. Waste this time hitting that. 
Oh, Mouse is going in on the- I was not paying attention myself. I guess that's me and Mouse trading back of not paying attention. I know, I know, I understand that he's coming, PR. Don't worry, I understand. Pauline did a great job, they got another double kill. Uh, is he okay? He looks like he's okay for the time- for the second. I'm gonna go up here and try to gank the rumble. Let me slow him. Ah, I'm not in range to slow him, man. Oh, okay. Well, she's fine. She walked away. Uh, if the Yid comes after her, I will try to get to her and ult. I believe if we have ult that we could 2v1 the Yid. I hope he doesn't. That's all I can really say about that matter. Because I just hope he doesn't come up top. I'm going to go for the Herald. You can easily solo it with just this much health and all this. Uh, except for if you lag like I am right now. Yeah. Except for if you lag like that. Then it makes soloing the Herald a little bit harder. But I should have this Yeet as bot lane. So we'll take the Herald and then we'll just go straight top lane with it. Because we could easily dive the Her or the um, We could easily dive the Rumble with me and the Fiora. And we'll just take it and do that. Hopefully get first blood tower. Curious if Rumble's gonna come over here or not. Doesn't look like he is. Looks like he's a little scared. Okay, I'm gonna get the tower. I'm gonna stay over here for the plating really quick. And I'm just gonna get the tower and then I'll go help her. She should be fine. Oh, there's a E in there. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, she knew that the E was in the bush and she went a little too aggressive there. Like, I, I don't... Or not the bush, the pit. I don't really like the fact that she did that. I had to flash because I was going to go for the ult. Luckily, I didn't need the ult. But if I didn't... I, like, I felt more comfortable just doing that for her. That could have been really sour really fast. Luckily, it didn't. But, uh... Got to pay a little bit more attention than that. Okay, tower range break, please. Thank you. Alright, get a nice kill on the Annie. I'll go get the Drake, because they should be fine pushing up mid right now. Let's just get the Drake first, and then we'll go worry about everything else, like the scuttle and stuff. <coughs> we already know that Yi's rotating over here, or he's running straight down mid. There's only two options for him to be. If he was farming right now, then he'd pretty much just given up and he's trolling. But, that's not what he's doing. So, we just gotta do this for now. I'm standing on a pink ward and I just saw that in the tri bush. It's just there's no real chance that anybody comes over here right now because they're all trying to hold mid, so I could just stand on it and just get my mark. That is the fourth mark now though, so we actually came back from having no marks to getting four marks in four minutes again. That's really what we need. He is not a very smart person right now. He uh he jumped straight onto me and just tried to cue me instantly as soon as he saw me, so he wound up giving himself up. And that's really, really bad decision making to do that. Now I've got 4,000 gold, I definitely need to go buy really quick. Uh, we're gonna get ourselves probably- ooh, they just jumped on me right then. Oh, that could've been bad. 
We're gonna get ourselves a cleaver first. Uh, one of the questions I get a lot is why, or not, well, I can't say too much, but I get asked is, why don't you get cleaver before Bork and stuff? And it really depends on the game. Like, cleaver before Bork overall right now feels much better than Bork and then cleaver. But in lower elo, you don't really need it because a lot of people aren't stacking resistances and stuff. And they're also not very good at fighting. So you can just do Blade of the Rune King first and just get that, like, heavier damage chunk off. Annie is pushing bot lane. She may be rotating back to mid though. If she's pushing bot lane, we should be fine to like stall her and kill her if she stayed. Doesn't look like she will though. Yeah, she's she's not here. Unfortunate. Uh, we'll push out one more wave, then I guess we'll go group with the team. They're about to die up there, I think. Uh, the Fiora is trying to kill the Annie. I think Fiora just inted, unfortunately. Yep, that's what happened. We did get the tower, which is cool. But... Mm, I don't know if it's worth yet. My team's still fighting. I have to get here as soon as I can. Yeah, looking like the starting to run through a little bit. Okay. We got the rumble because we got vision of him for attacking. And I think that's it. I think that overall we won the fight. I'm not sure if Annie's going to stay or not. Let's put that there and just get some vision. I could have gotten the mark on the way here, but I chose to rotate here immediately and I got two kills out of it. Definitely a worthwhile choice. Okay, let's uh, let's, let's not in really quick. Okay, you know what? Yeah, we're just gonna walk away. And he's gonna try to stun me and stuff. We're just we're not letting it happen. No, we're we're peacing out. We're gonna go get a mark. We're gonna be smart about it. And yeah. So. We got five marks right now. Our team's pretty ahead. We have entered a good mid like bit of gold back, and the enemy team is starting to scale a little bit. We don't want to give up too many more kills, or they could very well come back in this game. Even with us being so far ahead, their team does scale really well if you mess up. Mm, and who's there? Alright, I'll just ult. I don't know if the burn was going to be enough with the tower damage to kill me, so I just wanted to make sure it wasn't, and it worked out fine. I did kill the Annie, she ran up to me, she tried to stun me, and then I just had to flash on her and kill her. I could go buy the finished blade of the Rune King already, I'm not going to right this second. I'm going to get the Drake first, and then we'll go buy our blade, or not blade of the Rune King, excuse me, Cleaver. Then we'll work on our Bork. I'm probably going to get a Hex Shrinker before that though, mainly because I need the anti-burst from the Annie ult and stuff and I don't want to like let myself die to anything stupid. Fiora's getting chased by Vayne, looks like the Vayne turned around though. He is topside just farming up, he's just trying to get his items. He could be a problem once he gets his Rage Blade, and I'm not sure if that's what he's building or not, because he has Triple Dagger right now. Probably building Rage Blade or Phantom. I'm hoping he's building Rage Blade for his sake, not, like, <laughs> not not to be mean, but I'm hoping for his sake he knows what to build. So, with that, then we're going to get a Hex Shrinker, and we'll grab another Long Sword, so we can start working on our, uh, Blade of the Rune King. Get out of here, bug. There's a little fly flying around, it's like, hey, hey, go away. He's like, no, I'm your bug. I, I, I am the bug of existence and you will stay here and I'm going to annoy you. And it's like, I hate you, bug. I hate you so much. We could do, go do Baron, yeah, but it's not really easy for me to kill without the rest of my team. It's not very easy for me to solo until I have lifesteal. If I had lifesteal, by all means, yeah, I could solo it at this point. But without having much lifesteal, it ain't really happening. All 
All right, we get Rumble, and then we're gonna just piece on out of here. They're gonna chase a little bit. Doesn't really matter the chase. That Jin W did not hit whatsoever, but we'll pretend like it did. Where did my Where did my E go? Give me the quadra. Yes, give me the quadra. Heck yeah, matey. Heck yeah. I don't think Andy's gonna get the Penta. Give me the Penta. Woo! We got the Penta. <laughs> we did it. That's all I can say is we got the Penta. Okay, now I'm gonna be, like I said, be working on that Bork. That Penta was really lucky that I was able to get that. The Jin W's there were on point, and that's all I needed for him to get that Penta. I unfortunately gave up my perfect game, but I got the Penta. I'll, I'll take it. it. It's always satisfying. Like that, That's like the best feeling in League is where you're just like, Give me the Penta! I would be louder right now and stuff. I'm more hyped, but uh, people are sleeping, so I'm trying not to be like, ah! You know, usual stuff like that. So... It was nice though, it was nice. They're doing Baron, I should probably go over there, I don't want the enemy team to steal it. As, as greedy as I am and I see farm, it's like, I need my farm, but it's like, but there's a Baron Nisher, we'll go get the Nisher. I don't even really have Smite though, so I mean, they could still potentially steal this even with me here. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll take that. Kill the Sona as well, and then this should pretty much be game over push. We got Baron, there's no way they could really stop us here. You, you don't out damage me, Vayne. I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. You, ju you just don't out damage me. Oh, oh, oh. Kill him, kill him, kill him. We got him. Woo! If you are actually live too, Sharan in there lived. <laughs> Alright, well, that was the first game of promos. I know last game I didn't end on promos, but we had a hard stomp after that, and I try to. I tend to not upload hard stomps unless they're entertaining or, like, good, and it was literally just one of those dull games, like 15 minute games, where you're just like, yeah, we win, okay. It's like, it wasn't worth uploading, so that was the first game of promos that we just did. We get our 1 0 in our promos. Nice, nice, nice. Um, got a pentacle in it, and did second most damage, didn't actually out damage just for once, but that was fun. And who I hope you guys all enjoy watching this. Uh should be done with promos tomorrow, hopefully with the next video. I don't foresee myself losing one like that. But um yeah, see you guys and have a good day. Also I stream on Twitch every day. Well not every day, I can't say that I haven't streamed in like a week. But I'm gonna be streaming on Twitch every day, so feel free to come join and watch and stuff and uh goodbye.